Hello again. Mother's Day is every day, just like Father's Day is every day. So one of the things I'm doing this year, as I mentioned before, is celebrating it with different people, authors and others. So stay tuned. Just after this, you'll see the bio of our next guest. And you really will want to hear from her. See you in a bit. Welcome, Miss Linda. Well, thank you. I'm glad to be here. I really am. <laughs> I am so glad that you're here. A couple of people may already know you. Some people may have seen your bio, but can you please introduce yourself very briefly? I will do my best. I'm uh, Linda Wood Rondo. I've been writing for about 20 years. Before that, I was a social worker with uh, various departments within social services. Mm -hmm. um, I also worked for Office for the Aging, and I worked for a program called uh, Healthy Heart Association after I retired from social services. I worked with children and their families. I worked as a school social worker in liaison with social services. I have worked as a hospital social worker. I worked in a nursing home. Um, as the director of social services for the nursing home. So I have a very broad spectrum in, in human services. I, you know, it's crazy, but I, God was preparing me for this writing career. Obviously. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I retired from human services um, at the age of 54. Ooh. I walked into work and God said, you're not coming back here. You're done. You oh, wow. promised me. 15 years ago, you were going to write for me. It's time. So <laughs> don't, I don't recommend this. I recommend authors keep the day job for a while, but God had a different plan for me. I packed my, packed my desk up and I was done that day. Um, that never happens in human services. Usually you have to get 30 days notice, but I talked to all yeah. my supervisors and I mean, God had it all worked out. And then he said, I want you to write. So what was I going to write? Mm -hmm. And this book began to formulate in my mind. Actually, this was my very first concept of a book that I should write. So we'll go into that more. But anyway, that's a little bit about me. <laughs> wow, that is quite the story. Thank you. And thank you for sharing the courage to, so to speak, go out on the limb, obeying God. It was going out on the limb because my husband was the last person I told I was resigning. <laughs> but he's been a great supporter of me. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. So you already alluded to the book we're going to be talking some more about. And every time I remember the title, I'm almost like, oh my, oh my, what a wonderful title. This our interview is part of our series celebrating Mother's Day this year. So, you know, what, what an apt title, what an apt title. So, <laughs> okay, I need to stop laughing so I can keep laughing. I get that same expression every time we tell somebody the title, <laughs> especially if they're parents themselves. <laughs> yes. So please, can you, um, you know, tell us a few of the highlights of the book and even read a part of the book to us, please. Again, I will try to condense. Um, the, the book is formulated into six sections, and I call them arenas of parenting. Uh, persevere, teach um, in our relationships, being a friend, uh, the different aspects of, of a parent's experience raising a child. And then uh, each section has a, a quip or I mean a cartoon. Um, you know, I don't know if you can share when you bring this up for your advertising, share one of the cartoons. Um, and it, it uh, has a, a quote in scripture verse, all intermingled with a very short devotional. 
And then after the devotional, there's an insight and a prayer. And I thought the one I would share with you is called Patient Praying. Now, the, uh, the, the cartoon is the one with Daisy at the washing machine that's overflowing and she's raising her hands to heaven and saying, with all the technological advances in our culture today, why can't someone invent a child de -stubbinizer? Yes. <laughs> yes. And then, then the quip beforehand says, I multitask my worries, I pace during the spin cycle. Oh. <laughs> and a little bit from the devotional. First, first I'll read the uh, scripture reference. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. That's Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Now, this particular Devo was based on uh, my insight from when my son, my youngest son, uh, gra graduated from military basic training. And if anybody knew my son, whenever they heard he was going into the army, their mouths just went like this. Because he's the de I wished I, someone would invent. <laughs> he was a very, very difficult child to raise. And I whooped and hollered with more enthusiasm than a teen at a rock concert. Among all the parents present at that basic training graduation, wow. I was among the most grateful. Jim could have penned the book, The Art of Passive Resistance for Children. Like the mountain, he would not be moved. He was God's answer to a prayer for patience. But then I go through a little bit of, you know, my frustrations with dealing with a child like this. And then um, God jolted my memory. If any of you lack wisdom, he should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault. And it will be given to him. In desperation, I finally turned to God, pleading for his wisdom instead of relying on my own inadequate strength. Then the epiphany came. God had designed Jim, doggedness included. Someday that hardcore resistance would become steadfastness. Yeah. Annoying stubbornness would move him to conviction. And the constant rebelliousness would evolve into courage, according to God's timetable, not mine. From then on, I... I sought to nurture his independence proactively instead of waging war against it. We both survived with growing up, and he emerged a man of honor. Mm -hmm. And I watched my stubborn soldier move methodically through his drills, secretly beaming with pride and assured that God was completing the good work he started. Oh. That is really, really good to hear. And it's interesting how perspectives change about our children when we let God in. Absolutely. Absolutely. God is a God of positivity. And he helps us to see the strengths in our children. And then he guides us to nurture those strengths. You know, those strengths that, you know, when we're trying to raise them can be very uh, distracting, annoying, and sometimes utmost frustration. But he is the God of changing the negative into a positive. Amen. And, and Definitely. We're, we're, we're just the coaches. And he That's does the work. <laughs> yes, that is so true. That is so true. So just as, you know, we bring this to a close, what message do you have for parents Mothers, you know, it doesn't have to be, I mean, for there to be a mother, there has to be a father. So, yes, we're celebrating Mother's Day, but what, what message do you have for parents or potential parents, please? Well, the message is um, universal for, for us all, um, particularly for moms because of the, 
struggles we endure as raising children and dads too, because some we have a lot more uh, dads who are single parents now than we did years ago. Um, but my message is God loves you. Amen. You are his child. And he is teaching you through this experience with children what it means to be his child. And he is there to provide the discipline when we need it. But he's also there to just cradle us in his arms, wipe away our tears, and put us back on our feet and nudge us forward. He is our loving father. And that's the message I want folks to understand as they read this book. That was what was intended. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Linda. One of the things we'll do at the bottom of this video is, you know, add your website so people know where to get copies of this and your other books. Everything's on Amazon. Yes. The both an ebook and print. Mm -hmm. For sure. I'd like to thank you once again for joining me in the quick corner. Oh, this has been a pleasure. Thank you very much for inviting me. And I wish all the uh, mothers out there a happy Mother's Day. And uh, may the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. What did you think about the conversation with Miss Linda? I really love the title of her book, Asking for Patience and God Giving You Children. For all of us, whether or not you're a parent, I'm sure you can relate with that title. Maybe because of the kind of child you are or were, or maybe just with the things you're having to deal with as a parent. Well, it's great to know that the message she has is a universal one for families. So that's a great book, if you ask me, because I'm sure every member of the family can relate with it. Okay then, see you the next time we're in the Quip Corner. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And if you click the bell, you'll get notified the next time another video has been uploaded. Please continue to like and share. Take care. Bye now.